All right. Well, let's do a couple more. Mob health. I still don't know what supercharge is. Okay. Oh. Let's start with the repeater, because we know the repeater is great. And stun, which turns out is obscenely good. Sunbeam. Increases damage with each consecutive attack. That should be... Pretty choice. Okay, so I'm going to put the repeater there. And the sunbeam there. So we've just got a heavy focus fire. All we need at this point is the melter. And we'll be in business. I'm going to try and avoid the sniper this time around. So what's the difference between roguelike and roguelite? Really, the answer I would give is melter. Um, meta progression. That the more meta progression you, that you have in a roguelike, the more it is... Well, if you have meta progression being upgrades between rounds, that is what makes it a, uh, a roguelite as opposed to a roguelike. Treasure Hunter, I will take. So, what's a good example? I mean, Rogue Legacy is actually the best way of putting it. And actually, you know what? Even better than this, I made a freaking video on this. Okay, so what do we want to do? Melter speed, repeater damage. I'm going to go for the repeater damage. We want to get the repeater to be primo here. Um, let's just go for the damage. This poor repeater is not going to be able to get, do bupkis. It might be a good idea to make a link to the video uh, as like a command. I should. I really should. Uh, let's see. Bonus damage? Yeah, let's go bonus damage. I don't know if I need... Unbeam status immune. Oh. Rare stack. Uh, let's see. Do we grab heal? Sure. Boy, heal is bad. Oh, well. Shield would have been better. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to invest in healing so it's less bad. That's better. I don't know what his plan was. Reach. That's a good one. Ability radiate. Mm, tempting, but... I'm just going to go with this. Why explain it if your past self already did? That's... Yeah? Little chance. I don't grab it. Less is more. I love the idea of less is more. But it's such a risky endeavor. If you're not getting what you want. Do I want to just get the shield generator? Sure. That might have been, been a mistake. I don't actually know if I like it that much. It's really bad. Let's do melter speed, hardened core. A couple of upgrades will make it good, but boy, I would have been better off just going with the shield generator ability. Uh, let's see. Melter speed. This is more, will be stronger when you've unlocked more upgrade slots with mastery points. Oh, absolutely. Why did I hit the stun? I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. I would have been better off just getting the shield ability. Alas. Uh, let's see. Healer tower. Nah. I'll probably want to just get the rocket launcher for more, more slow. Or just slow in general. If we can find it. Uh, 
Let's see. Reckoning. Reach. Let's keep grabbing Reach. And do we just go Rock and Pod? Status effect slow. 30%. Yeah, I'll take it. It's not as good as the... Uh... Let's see. It's not as good of a slow as the Freezer, but that's fine. There we go. This is messy. But maybe fine. Let's see. And all of my upgrades are going to just be make Rocket Pod really good. I need heal stacks. Go for extra healing. I, this actually, this might work out. So far, I feel pretty good about myself. Field generator speed. Okay, we actually did take some damage there. My poor repeater is taking some smacks. And they took out my rocket pod. I rude. Okay. It'll be only only gone for a round, and I didn't need the rocket pod nearly as much as everything else. Uh, let's see, shield generator amount. Sure. Quicken, yes. And bring back the rocket pod. I'll just have to pay attention to flyers. Let's see, now there is auto shields, but that's nothing. That's so little. It's so peasly. There we go. Less is more, something from nothing, or harden core. Go harden core. Option paralysis. Yes. Because once you get option paralysis, then you can do less is more. Okay, and I'm actually going to grab uncommon stack. There's a couple of uncommons that are incredibly good. Okay. Let's get another one of these. There we go. Heal stacks, ro rocket pod damage, or melter damage. Ah, uh, you know, I haven't actually improved this, like, at all. Melt faster. There we go. Melter armor reduction. Gonna need some shields at some point. Okay, stun duration? Hell yeah. Why is the rocket pod just silly? I mean, obviously, its damage ain't great. But I could fix that. Reckoning. My, how am I feeling? I'm feeling okay about it. Oof. We're going to lose that, and it's going to be a little sad. Let's see, repeater, da repeater damage. Not that my repeater damage... <laughs> my repeater is not holding on. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to keep investing in heal amount. Oof. Less is more. There we go. Alright, so unfortunately my core got absolutely spam-blasted there. In a really bad way. Mm, yeah. I gotta hit those. Masonry, finally! Let's try something slightly different. It's not as good, I think. But I think it's better this way.
At least it feels better. There we go. Uh, let's see. Melter damage. Keep buffing that. Heal speed, because, yeah, we've taken some damage. Okay. There we go. That's the stuff. That should be good. Just start mashing them heals. The one thing is, I think the sniper... The rocket is no replacement for the sniper and the... The freezer. Okay, I don't think we need any more walls. Okay, rocket pod damage. Rocket pod speed. Maybe... Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Maybe the rocket really can be a replacement for the sniper. You just have to do it right. Let's see. I don't actually know if I need the rocket pod slow. I think I just skipped that like a fool. I'm not used to getting three upgrades out of that. Uh, that's okay. Refine, bonus damage to everything, sure. At this point, they are all do 100 damage. And so going for refine is probably the better idea. There we go. Pod damage, sunbeam damage, something from nothing. Sure. I think we are good. Let's see, shield generator speed? Nah. Heal stacks, I guess? Some of these enemies hurt. Uh, let's see, melter speed? Yeah. I don't know if we really need the shield generator speed. But I gotta say, the shield move seems way better. I'm mixed on the healing move. I think the shield generator move is just genu genuinely better. Hey, got it. Didn't level up, though, I don't think. And I have no idea. Okay, let me check Compendium Mastery Points. Boy, that's going to take a lot to level up in this game. Uh, then again, maybe I just need to be playing on the higher difficulties. We will see. Okay, so mobs are going to be faster. Yeah, it should be fine. Overload 3. Okay, so Disruptor. Hits mobs with status effect, inhibiting all actions. Does it do damage, though? It disrupts. Um, because I like lightning enough, it's okay. Melter seems way more useful. Disruptor seems really interesting, but hit and miss. I'm going to start with the Melter. I do want to go for the Hammer. No, because it's... One of its primary functions is armor penetration. I got to go for the Melter damage. And we'll grab... Rocket pod, or melter speed, or shield. I feel like shield in this situation. Okay. And then I'm going to mix it up by going upside down compared to what I usually do. Mainly just because there's a void up there and, and hell might as well. Okay. Really care too much for frenzy. I don't hate frenzy. I just don't care much for it. How much damage does hammer do? It does a lot. What's its range? One and a half tiles. Yeah, screw it. Let's grab it. This is the one I don't know about. Alternatively, why the heck not? Let's see. Let's do the Berserker. 
If I don't mix it up every once in a while, what's the point? Okay, and tower tower healer? I'm gonna put that there. Actually, I'm gonna put the healer tower there and the berserker there. Alright, shield stacks, tower repeater. You know, I wasn't using the repeater as much as I thought I was going to. Um... Do I have something from nothing? I don't actually remember if I picked it up. I guess I'll just grab shield stacks and refine. Harden core? Yeah. And stun, which is like primo good. Let's see. Ah, let's go melter damage. Berserker damage. Ah, melter. Okay, take a break. Berserker damage, berserker speed. And then I want none of those, which does not give me a wall. Let's see, hammer speed. And percent attack speed bonus. Nah, I'm gonna go for the melter. And the berserker ain't dying, shockingly. Uncommon stack, very much yes. But those mastery points are gonna be hard to come by though. I want the rocket pod? Nah, I'm gonna hold out for the freezer, maybe. Treasure Hunter. I'll take it. And then more Melter damage. Pump in this. Alright, so far everything is working. Let's keep reducing the self damage on the Berserker. Uh, Melter speed? Yeah. The one unfortunate part is I miss having the rocket launcher or the sniper just for that extra map reveal. Not that I care. Like it's it's not like it's that hugely useful, but it's still uh it, it's still like this weird problem for me. Where I'm just like, ah. Oh, I wanna see. Even if it doesn't matter. Could go for the heal ray. That seems really wasteful though. Okay, keep reducing that self-damage. <sighs> but I gotta go for Freezer. Oh, build all my units first. Not the best spot for it. Doesn't need to be. Let's see, shield cooldown? Yeah, let's go for the cooldown. Freezer slow him out. Yes! Good stuff. Oh, worked out. Okay, start investing in healer, or healer range, the freezer range. There we go, shield stacks? No, stun duration, clearly. There's masonry. Alright, so now we can make the perfect defense. No, oh, you jerk, that was my healer. You know, all things considered, that's actually pretty much a non-issue. And reach. I got so many shields that I'm pretty fine. My poor Berserker, though. Sucker is, uh, very killable. Uncommon stack? Yeah. Nope. The healer down. There we go. Just didn't want it for some reason. And now that I have masonry, it's not giving me walls as an option. Or if it does give me walls, walls as an option... It's giving me some really swank business instead, and I'm like, oh, but I don't... Hey, we got it. Let's keep grabbing walls. Because what I want to do is force them all to pass by the healer. Or not the healer, the, uh... The freezer. If I put it right here, that covers most of this. 
The only immediate problem is figuring out how to how I want to lay this out, because the Berserker is kind of in a really bad spot. I guess if I put the Melter on the end and the Hammer right here, that'll do it. Because we want to we want to leverage. Ooh, yes. We want to leverage the Hammer's big damage as kind of like a cleaner. Same thing with the Berserker. Okay. Uh, one common stack. Hopefully that's enough. I might actually want to switch the melter in the freezer. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. That gives the ooh, option paralysis? Yes. And melter speed. That gives him a lot more time to specifically melt and take off every little bit of armor that anybody has. Almost everybody has. Bonus cap. Ooh. The Berserker has a kill damage bonus? Healing per kill, health per kill. Health is damage. Does it gain bonus damage? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's see. Do I just keep reducing it down so he never hurts himself? Yes! Peak Berserker. Beautiful. Okay. I guess I'm just going to keep investing in that. Melter armor reduction? Hell yeah. Oh, it's max HP goes up. Which actually is really strong. Less is more. Hooray. Melter speed. Okay. Go with that. So the Berserker is actually, like, way better than I gave it credit for, I think. Uh, let's see. Freezer slow duration. Yes. Yeah, because we want this to really slow things for this entire loop if we can. Hammer speed. Keep reducing the Berserker self damage. Ooh. Get that range up. This is a neat little roguelike. The music is a little repetitive, but yeah, whatever, I'll take it. Healer speed, hammer damage. Yeah, let's go hammer damage. I'm not really using the hammer too much here, but I should. Okay, do I care about Tinker? Sure. It gets that out of the pool at the very least. Freezer range. Berserker damage. Boy. I don't think it's possible, but it'd be... It'd be something special if you could actually... Yeah, yeah it's fine. We're fine. Hell yeah. It'd be something special if I could get the Berserker to kill itself. <laughs> I doubt it would happen, but it would be... That'd be a thing. I guess I could go for the extra extra shield stacks. What I should be doing is just going automatically. Can you turn on your own music? Yeah. I'll probably do that for the next time I play this. Uh, let's see. Do I want the damage? No, we want the melter speed. Let's grab Reckoning for the extra score. And rare stack. There we go. And reach. Yes. Give me that range. I need it. Okay, what else do we do? These, I mean, I think, I think at this point we're pretty solid. We've got some really good power, power towers just doing their thing. Let's see, more reckoning. Yeah. At this point, I'm gonna put my faith in. My big beefy bruisers. Going for an all berserker run could be really interesting too. I might consider trying it in the future. It'd be hard to build for, but 
that extra max HP could be really lovely. There it is. <laughs> I think his sucker is supposed to do like half of its health and damage. Oh, it's supposed to do it normally. Or no, no, no. It's doing equal to half of its health and damage. But it's not doing that to itself. Ooh, that got bad. That got real bad. All right, how much HP does it even have? Health is a thousand. That thing does 500 damage per shot. <laughs> I was wondering about that while we were doing so well. Berserker, you just went from kind of middle grade to S tier in like one me realizing how you actually worked. I'm just gonna. Do we just go all in or do we go. Eh, let's go speed. Healer range. Oh. Nope, it's almost there. I was really hoping I could actually get the healer to heal the melter. Oh well. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably flip on my own music after a certain point with this game. Uh, let's see. Nah. I don't need healer speed. The range on that, though. Right, there we go. I think this is the final level. Now, I could turn this on endless if we wanted to. Go for a little bit longer. Yeah, let's actually do that for once. Endless mode. Hardened core. Berserker speed. Healing. Main reason why I want to go endless is... uh. uh let's see. This episode's been going on for 25 minutes, and if I could get that to go just a little longer, I'd be happy. Let's get that Berserker self-damage to nothing. Most meta points in its health. Uh, let's see. Holy shit, those got punchy. Maybe endless mode is a little bit a little bit more problematic than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see. Keep upping that berserker damage. There we go. Belter speed, berserker speed. Yeah, those three upgrades are going to save my bacon. There we go. Freezer slow duration. Keep buffing the shield amount. Keep buffing that Berserker. I want to make that Berserker as, as chonktastic as I possibly can. Alright. I want him to be doing a thousand plus damage per shot. Just become truly ridiculous. But too bad you can't get multiple Berserkers. I know, right? This game is a little limited. I, I would love to see the developer come back and make a core defense too, taking what he knows into account. Let's see, healer range. There we go. Hammer storage? Sure. Yeah, now the healer can actually heal almost my entire defense. I don't think I need to worry about the hammer as much. There we go. Is that three in a row wall plus berserk damage offers? Yes. It might have been. Ooh. Yeah, some of these guys absolutely just shred shields. Oh. I'm just gonna... <laughs> this freezer... Oh my god, the freezer range is in intense. I don't think I need to get freezer duration because after a certain point it's just going to cover the map. Endless range. But it's only half a percent. I love the idea of it, but we'll leave that for later when we have nothing else to grab. I like the simplicity of only one tower though. It makes the screen less busy. It's true, and like frankly I guess that's kind of what I do with uh with balloons as well. 
Because when I when I play balloons, I usually only use one of each tower, especially because you can only get like one of each of the the top tier towers. I think you you can actually get the uh, the berserker to do damage equal to its whole health. Which is just silly. Berserker cap bonus. A. Ah, that is the one downside on him. Looks like... Maybe it is based on... When it says 500, it's not 500 health. I bet that's actually 500 kills. go. I will keep maxing this out. That might actually have been the end, but that's okay. Yeah, I think the freezer actually covers this entire loop. Like Everything approaching is slowed. I'm fine with it, though. Okay, so there's endless damage. Oh, nope. Yeah, now it covers the entirety of everything. I was really kind of iffy on the freezer when I first uh, grabbed it, and it's just like, wait a second, this is this is stinky good. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, we might start losing here. This is not the most. Endless viable build. Maybe that's okay. Let's see. Roll the dice. Hardened core. Definitely hardened core. Let's grab nanobots just for a little bit of extra healing. Okay. There we go. Hammer damage. Hammer damage. Berserker damage. Order. Well, I think we've maxed out the Berserker, or at least we've we gotten close to that. Uh, no. We're almost there. Quick in. Freezer slow amount. Oh, thank you. Anything that enters my zone just gets halved. Oh, it's so good. Berserker damage is more than its HP. I'm going to keep doing it. There we go. Berserker damage. Hammer speed. Poor hammer. I don't I don't love you nearly as much as I love the rest of this defense. But maybe that's okay. Maybe you'll get get there. I saw a 3k damage. I would not be surprised. Okay, Melter Armor Reduction, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need in spades. Okay, Stun Duration. Wow! Wow! You can get that stun duration to be absurd. Like the hammer is the hammer is is doing decently well too. Like I I will give that bad boy some serious credit. Okay, the healer really is popping now. Keep my shields up. I thought we were going to start losing. I was wrong. I think the healer now covers the berserker, or the berserker, the hammer. I could be, I could be wrong on that one. Let's see, auto shields or common stack. Let's keep grabbing common stack. So I can get yet more freezer range, but mostly berserker damage. If only I could give him an AoE. Ah, oh, it'd be good. Nah, I'm gonna 
We wait for the endless upgrades. I got too many other upgrades that I can pass around. Okay. Hammer damage? Hammer damage. Damn hammage. 20% of their maximum HP. That's pretty good. Oh, right. We should maybe also consider s collecting large quantities of walls. We don't have the upgrades to really make it worth it, though. Because I know, I know if I put a bunch of upgrades into it, I could potentially get, like, uh, the mastery points. That's the endless speed. Oh, it's so tempting, but I have Berserker speed to attend to instead. But yeah, stack walls underneath Berserker? That's kind of what I was thinking. We're getting to the point where that's going to be the best possible option for me, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Oof. Maybe not. I was like, oof, but maybe we're okay. How much HP does my core even have? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Be healed. Be healed, my sons. And destroy. Slow duration. Why not? What else am I going to spend my resources on? Bonus cap up. That goes. That stacks up to seven times. Holy shit. The Berserker has very little chill. Okay, refine? Absolutely. Common stack? Sure. Berserker speed? Yes. Keep investing in it. I don't even feel like using the slow anymore. Unfortunately, I might be getting so strong that it's like, it's getting to the point where I'm like less interested in playing. I have this problem with endless mode specifically. That endless mode is like real fun and real tempting to play whenever I play these games, but then it's just like you start doing it and you're like, oh yeah, this actually is not that enjoyable after a certain point. Not as like a knock against the game, but just more of like a... Roguelikes thrive on like fresh new runs, and at this point I'm not getting anything like fancy or exciting. It's mostly just like more habit damage. Making my Berserker so it can't kill itself. Not that that's really much of a limitation. I've noticed there haven't been any flyers lately. I wonder if they're hard to balance for this. Never mind, we lose. Well, we've unlocked the Shuriken Tower. Do I have anything else? No. Boy, leveling is tough. Oh well, it's fine. 